In this tutorial, we'll look at a problem created by the use of algebra and how to overcome it using what we call the distribution principle. Example 1. Terry purchases 8 books. Each book was $14 plus tax. His total bill was $120.96. What was the tax for each of these books? So for our step 1, we read it carefully and make a few notes. Each one is $14 plus tax. The total bill is $120.96. So for step 2, let's say our variable is t, the tax. We'll only have one variable to worry about. And on to step 3, translate and solve. So we have 8 books, and each one costs him $14 plus the tax. The total cost of everything was $120.96. So at this point, what do we do? Now we normally think of bedmas at this point and we want to clear up the brackets, but we can't. You can't add the number and t, they're not like terms. So we're stuck. This is where we learn about distribution. Let's consider what the brackets mean in this case. They're saying that the 8 in front impacts the $14, that is the book, and the t, or the tax. So you have 8 books at $14 each and you have 8 taxes. So the distribution law simply recognizes that the 8 impacts each item in the brackets. We can distribute the 8. We multiply 8 times 14 is 112 and then 8 times t is 8t. That's it. We've simply acknowledged that the 8 impacts all the items in the brackets. You now know how to use the distribution law when you run into situations like this. So carrying on, 112 plus 8t equals 120.96. And we'll subtract the 112 from both sides, keeping it balanced. 8t equals 8.96. Divide both sides by 8 and t equals 1.12. The tax for each book is one dollar and twelve cents. We look back and confirm that all we were asked for was the tax for each book. So our final answer is that the tax for each book was one dollar and twelve cents. Example 2. A soccer field has a perimeter of 300 meters. The length is 50 meters longer than the width. What are the dimensions of the field? So for step 1 we read it carefully and make some notes. In this case a quick sketch would be a good form of notes. Our field and the length is longer than the width by 50 meters. And we're also told that the perimeter is 300 meters. So this will help. On to step two. What would our variables be? If we say that W equals the width of the field, then our length would be 50 meters more than that. Now we could have made our variable L for length and then the width would just be length minus 50, and that would work perfectly fine. We'll continue with our original plan. On to step 3. We translate and solve. We're told the perimeter is 300 meters, so you may have to think back and remember that perimeter equals all the sides added up, or how far it is to walk around the outside of the field. Perimeter, therefore, would be two widths plus two lengths. So we are representing the width with W, and so that's fine but the lengths would be w plus 50. So our equation is 2w plus 2, and then in brackets the length, w plus 50, and that's all equal 300. And it's time to solve. We have 2w, and then we notice that the 2 in front of the brackets means that everything in the brackets must be multiplied by 2. Again, our distribution law. So we distribute the 2, another 2w, and 2 times 50 is 100, and that all equals 300. We bring the two w's together for 4w plus 100 equals 300. And it's time to isolate the variable. Let's subtract 100 from both sides, keeping it balanced, and we have 4w equals 200 now. We're multiplying by 4, so let's divide by 4, and 200 divided by 4 is 50. So w equals 50. Is this our answer? Well, step four. Let's go back to the original equation. We're asked for the dimensions of the field. 
And when we're asked for dimensions, we need to provide both the length and the width. We documented that W equals the width of the field, so we know that width is 50. And to fully answer the question, we need to say that the length was W plus 50, or 50 plus 50 equals 100 meters. So the dimensions are 50 meters by 100 meters. And we're done. In this tutorial, we continue using our strategy for solving word problems. One, read the question carefully and summarize. Two, note the variable or variables. Three, translate and solve. And four, ensure you've answered the question. In this tutorial, we also found an interesting situation that algebra creates. That is, a number in front of brackets with multiple terms in the bracket. We couldn't bring the terms together since they aren't like terms, so we needed a way to deal with this. We recognized that the number in front of the brackets indicates that everything in the brackets is affected by that number. Thus, we distribute that number by multiplying it by each item in the brackets.